I'm Scott. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep people from stealing the spare tire off the back of your Jeep. I'm going to demonstrate this on a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, the Sport Edition. But this will work on all of the JKs or JKUs from 2007 to 2018. Probably even some before then, and even some after then. You'll need to check the manufacturer's website to verify they'll work on the year and the uh, model of your Jeep. Now there's a couple of methods to keep people from stealing the tire off the back of your Jeep. Right now, as it comes from the factory, or if you bought one used, it's just got three bolts holding it on. So anybody with a three-fourths inch wrench can come by here, remove these three bolts, Take your tire and take your rim and they'll walk off with it. So one of the methods you can deal with this is if you have locking nuts on all the rims on your uh, Jeep, so all four tires have one uh, locking nut on a rim, then you can have a fifth one and you can put it on one of these three bolts on your spare tire. And that way it'll prevent people from stealing your spare tire off the back of your Jeep. A second way is if you don't have any locking nuts on the rims, the four rims of your tires on your uh, Jeep, you can buy an individual locking nut and put it on here. The downside of that is you have to have that key. And heaven help you, if you can't find that key when you got a flat and you come back here and you need to get the spare tire off of your Jeep. So um, that's kind of the same way with the key for your four lug nuts on the, the uh, your rims on the tires. If you have a flat, you got to make sure you have that lug nut. If you lose it, you don't have time to call the manufacturer and have them send you one as you're sitting there on the side of the road. Now in this example, I do not have keyed lock nuts on the four rims and tires on this Jeep or on this spare, but I do want to keep people from easily stealing the spare tire. So what I found, there's a product, the company's called by Bolt, and they make this product. The nice thing about this product is it locks and unlocks with your key, the ignition key. So if you're driving in your Jeep and you have a flat, you have the key in your ignition to come back here and unlock the key to get your spare tire off the back of the Jeep. All right, let's see what comes in this package. All right, here it is. We open it up. Um, of course, you get you get the lock, and, and we're going to key this lock to the key of our uh, Jeep ignition Jeep. I open the cap, and that's where the key will go in. And we'll pull that decal off, and we'll we'll match up our ignition key so that it works with this specific lock. Let's see. Of course, we get the directions. We get the lug nut that we're actually going to lock to. We'll, when we pull one of the lug nuts off the, the Jeep tire, spare tire right now, we'll replace it with this. And this is what our key will lock to. We get a little spacer. And we get another spacer in case you have a custom rim on there. It's not factory, that's wider. This will allow you to use your uh, key and your bolt on different rims. Okay, and we're going to follow the steps and the directions here. So the first thing we got to do is we got the uh, part here, and we're going to remove this uh, little protective piece of covering, and we're going to key, uh, mate our key with this. So I'm going to pull this off, this little decal sticker, and then I'm going to insert my key and turn it clockwise until it stops. At that point, it should be mated up, and I'll just turn it three times to make sure everything's working right. All right, the sticker's removed. And then it's got this black covering underneath of it. It's got this black covering underneath of it. All right, I removed this little black covering. So this is what it looks like now. So I'm going to insert my key in it and then turn it clockwise. All right, my key's all the way in it. 
and turn it clockwise until it stops. It stopped. It, it went about three fourths of the way around. One, two, three. And I can pull my key out. And just to verify that, I push my key in. One, two, three. So it's spring loaded. So when I turn my key, it comes back and it pulls it out. All right, so we set this lock to this specific ignition key. We're at the next step where we're going to remove one of the lug nuts from the spare tire and then we're going to re replace it by the provided lock, lug nut of the kit that will allow the lock to uh, lock to it right there. All right, so let's, we want to remove, I'm just going to choose this one. You know, there's three lug nuts. I just went ahead and chose this one. All right, that's loose. comes off we're going to replace it with one of the lug nuts that they gave us okay now that I have their socket in you need a deep well socket to tighten theirs um, so this is an example of a deep well socket because you got to get over this nub um, and what I do is I, I have this from my impact wrench so I'll just put it on here so I'll just put it on here and we'll tighten it down okay then the next piece now after we've installed this lug nut that we're going to connect to that they provide in their kit, we're going to provide this uh, anti-theft with a little spinner that goes on there like that. Then, so a thief can't get in here and grab it with a wrench and turn it. That thing just spins. Now that we've removed the old lug nut, we've installed their lug nut post and we put the anti-theft spinner piece on there. Now we're going to install the bolt key assembly. So that goes on there. We take the ignition key, put it in there, comes off. And now it's locked. So now we take the bolt locking assembly. We have our ignition key. We put it in there. And you can see it spinning in there when I turn the key. So I'm just turning the key, letting it slip on. The key is grabbing. Pull the key out. And now this thing is locked on there. I cannot, I cannot pull it out. We put the key back in there. Grab this, turn it. It'll come out. So just put it back in. And it's locked on there. So now, no one can steal the tire or the rim off the back of this Jeep. All right, that wraps up this video, showing you how to protect your uh, spare tire and your spare rim from thieves, stealing that from you when you're parked out in public. Now they can no longer take this from you because you've got this secured with a lock. Now I've demonstrated this on a 2016 Jeep Unlimited Wrangler. It's a sport edition, but this will work for all the JKs and JKUs, and that's from 2007 to 2018. And it'll probably work for the JTs and the JL and the JLUs, but you'll need to check the Bolt, um, the manufacturer's site, the Bolt's website, and they'll tell you what product you need to buy for the brand of Jeep that you're driving. Now this product, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was between 50 and 60 bucks. I got it off Amazon Prime. I'll include the link in the description below. Um, it may seem pricey to some. To me, it's cheap because there's a lot more than 50 or 60 bucks back here in this rim and this tire. If I came out and somebody stole it, 
then I'd be out a lot more money. So a little bit of preventative maintenance going on here. Hopefully the information in this video helps you to maintain and enjoy your Jeep. Now go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below. And if you ring that bell, you'll get instant notifications of when I add content to my YouTube channel. And I'll be adding more content to my YouTube channel about these Jeeps and different changes, modifications, maintenance, and upgrades you can do to them. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. Now if you have any positive feedback, leave it in the comment section below. Alright, go ahead, get in your Jeep, climb in, drive around, enjoy the beautiful countryside out there.